so today we are going to do a simple abstract tree painting for that we need a 20 by 20 canvas a small one is fine then we need an acrylic 12 tube set we'd be using red paint here crimson red and a bit of white and black then we need few cotton buds and here I'm using a flat brush for doing the background a thick flat brush would do and then any plastic palette is more than enough you can make your own and then two cups with water one for mixing and other for removing the paint from your brush so yeah let's start off first we'd be taking the crimson red I'm laying down the palette and I'm taking crimson red as you can see here and I'm putting this into the palette Then I'm taking white, titanium white is the color name. Since mine is over, I bought a new bottle and yeah, that's white. And then you can add black, that's for the tree trunk. The main colors are red and white, so black as you can see. So right now these two colors, red and white, what we'd start doing is first apply a base coat to the canvas. So I'm taking white and red, I'm mixing them as you can see take a big, taking a bit of white and a little bit of red mixing them to get a very lighter shade of it very very lighter tone if you can make it even lighter by just adding drop of water that would be fine so i'm just going to the base to the lower end of the canvas and painting it horizontally through adding a bit of water because i want to i want to make that base very light a light background to give the ground cover going ahead with that Now I'm taking a few uh, cotton buds as you can see, four or five would be enough. Just catch them in this manner if you have a band, you, know, you can just dip it like that. So catch it in this manner if you have a cotton band just tying it with a band and holding it in the same manner make sure that these are leveled you want to level them if you see one of the bud that has you know just gone in make it level okay once you make them in proper level like all the buds are leveled take the palette dip it in the red paint just dip the tip as you can see over here, I'm just dipping at them, look, and just, you know, taking the whole paint around. And I slowly start off to do my foliage, the tree leaves. I start from the center slowly, just dipping it through, dark from the center, going lighter towards the edges. 
darker there lighter here so as I go towards the end it should be light and you can see there's a white gap towards the corners and then the foliage is just through the center so I'm taking in the paint again dabbing it through the center and then going to the edges very lightly so you can see the pattern that I follow my leaves are prominent towards the center but as I go towards the sides it's becoming lighter and lighter go ahead and I'm finishing the foliage I'm maintaining the shape of the foliage and going light towards the ends it's whiter there at the corners taking a bit of red dipping it through trying to create a good shape for the tree just going ahead dipping it through from the palette now I take white now don't take too much of white that's too much so what I do right now is I flip it take the other end I flip it take the other end yeah and then I dip it lightly go ahead to the canvas and I'm just adding more white into the spaces that I see creating a shade you can follow the same or you can follow your own intuition in making a tree foliage it's an it's just an abstract tree so go ahead I'm just dipping it you know I'm just touching the tip of it as you can see just just slightly touching the tip so that's how you create that sort of an effect For the white I use the white end and for the red I'm using the red one so that the colors doesn't mix. I'm going ahead adding a bit more of red to create a shadow effect. So as you can see my tree has got its lighter shades uh, the foliage has got its darker shades it's darker towards the center and somehow now I'm al almost quite happy with the result that has come so I'm going ahead and doing the trunk I take a thin brush thin tipped brush taking black a nice huge amount and then starting from the bottom straight up I'm, you can see how I'm holding my brush it's stroking I'm not holding it any other way I'm, I'm not stroking it like I did in the other video I'm just holding it this way with my fingers in this fashion so I'm holding it starting it from the center bottom straight up it's okay if your paint finishes just go to the palette again get some more paint in your brush and then slowly straight up since I'm making a thinner trunk here I'm, I'm, I'm just increasing my base to get an effect thicker I go forward and I'm going to make my branches right now so I'm painting it as I paint you can see I'm just slightly moving the tip of the brush and I'm twisting my brush as I do it so twisting kind of gives you that thin, very thin branches. So from the tip, I'm just twisting it through. Always wait for it to dry, even if it is um, a bit wet, the colors can get muddy. So wait for the bottom layer to dry and then go ahead with the trunk. At this stage, my tree is almost done and I go forward with the shading what I do is I just give horizontal thin lines at the bottom of my trunk 
lighter towards the edges as the shadow is lighter as you go farther away and it's thick and dark just below the tree. Just few lines of that would, you know, bring that tree life. I go ahead, take my uh, butts and then just take a bit of red paint and dab it through like few fallen leaves. Yeah, that's the right effect. Going ahead and filling few gaps that I've found. The tree painting is almost done. It's ready. Go ahead and make your version of it right now. Thank you for watching Brilliant Brushes by Sunu Sam.